boxing, for example, right? A really good system. Right? Jab by hook, uppercut, snap back, shoulder roll, bobbing, weaving, slipping, covering and parrying, all of the broken rhythm, punching, all the footwork, and it goes on and on. Great system, right? But if you look at all the greats like uh, Ali, Hearns, Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roy Jones, Tyson, George Foreman, they all have their own individual style. And if you look at them, obviously, they all move very, very differently, right? So sure, you can learn a lot of techniques, for sure, you can learn a system, but to copy their style? I don't know if you can do that, right? Because their styles on, is based on something really unique. It's based on the way they naturally move, it's based on their body type, it's based on their innate personality and their life experience. Whenever we copy others instead of being ourselves, a lot of times we end up being emotionally attached to a label, to concepts, to words, to images, more than what's actually directly happening in front of us, right? Okay, so the experiment was, I showed a guy two techniques. We're working against the tackle, right? The first technique was set up to fail, and I called it Wing Chun. In reality, it wasn't from Wing Chun, so all you Wing Chun guys out there don't get mad, right? The only reason why I called it Wing Chun and trick him was because I know he was emotionally attached to that concept of Wing Chun, because he did it for a few months and he loved it, right? But it was set up to fail, and it's not from Wing Chun, and I called it Wing Chun. The second technique is proven to work. Pretty high success rate, right? And I called it Karate. In reality, it's got nothing to do with karate. It didn't come from karate. I just call it karate because I know he hates karate. And I want to see his emotional attachment, right? So sure enough, after about three, four hours in, he was taking private lessons and he's working against the shoot, right? Sure enough, the technique that was supposedly Wing Chun that set up to fail, he couldn't make it work. And the technique that's proven to work, he was having a pretty good success rate, like maybe 50, 60% of the time, right? But just because it's called karate, he refused to train it. Is that weird? So, you know, show me a couple of techniques on that, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, what, you know, what are the techniques? Uh, well, the first one that I said to fail that I call Wing Chun, but it's not from Wing Chun, is yeah. when a guy goes for a shoot, right? You just kick. <laughs> Wing Chun has a kick, but not under that context, right? Because I don't care how good you are. When you're this close, you bring the leg up. If the guy's even half decent, he's going right? to exit and then run you over. You're on one leg, right? Yeah. yeah. Right? So, the second technique was just a basic cutoff on the third leg, right? Like, um, because say if, when I come at you, go and grab my leg and shoot, don't be nice to me, right? Right. Really, really go for me, right? Okay. Right? So, yes. But slowly, what I did was, you just cut him off on the third leg, right? Oh. Yeah. So that one's got like an 80, 90% chance? Well, he was having a good 60% chance of making it work, but he still refused to work on it. He'd rather spend his time with like one of that just because of Wing Chun. But that, that was not only really from Wing Chun, every style has a frank kick, right? Yeah. But it's, it's done in the wrong context on purpose. Right? So I learned a lot from the experiment how people react to just labels. I definitely did this a lot in the past too, right? We're getting hung up on the concept and images of how things are supposed to work instead of what is actually happening in front of me from the test results, right? It's kind of when people say, hey, come learn this stuff, because the founder of this stuff was awesome. Or this stuff comes from a special forces, or maybe I'm a next bouncer and I got into 10,846 fights. Or maybe come train with me because I train with Grandmaster so-and-so. Well, how is that going to help a guy like me if I don't have your past encounters, if I don't have your past careers, if I don't have your life experience, personality, or body type? What if I was just an average guy or below average? An example would be the popular topic of knife defense. Usually what we see that's taught as knife defense drills does not resemble how an actual knife crime unfolds. It doesn't resemble what happens when someone's actually coming after you with a knife, right? In real life. So how do I know what's marketed to me when I'm practicing actually works? All right, so the, you were saying about the scientific yeah, so Method, with the right? knife thing, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. For difference between learning techniques versus testing it as a learning model, right? Yeah. So from a technical point of view, okay. Um, <laughs> show me two knife counters you ever learned. Any two you like, right? We'll go slow because this hurts like hell, even though it's a trigger blade. Right. So I come in. Oh, nice. Oh, good. Right? And then another one. We're going to do a bunch if you want. And, oh, good. Excellent. Okay. Sir. So that's technical point. That was yeah. awesome. Now, <laughs> let's see if you can do it under pressure ballistically from a testing point of view. For safety's sake, 
use a bottle, right? So I'm gonna attack you, but now I'm not gonna be nicer, but I'm going full tilt. Actually, maybe half speed. And I won't use any martial art. I'll attack you like someone that doesn't know any martial art. Just like those CCTV footages. Right, okay. Okay, and you, <laughs> you try to do those. Okay. Nice. It's hard, man. I'm gonna do it all day. It's the same. Keep switching angles, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the technique you did. It's just testing, stepping, and learning, right? So. Okay. Well, what would you do? That far, I'll run, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. Well, pretend you can't run, and the distance. I'm already close, and I can't run. Yeah. We're gonna pray, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, seriously. Ah, this is gonna suck for me. Um, Grab a knife, we'll find out, right? And wear a helmet just in case. Show over there. Yeah. So I want you to come at me the way I came at you. So don't be nice. Really try to get me. Go as fast as you can, as many times as you want. You can go high, you can go low, you can change angles. Doesn't matter, right? And I'll try to get lucky. I hope I get lucky. <laughs> so that worked. <laughs> no, I just got lucky. There's actually better methods than that. But the point is, you know the technique that you showed today, right? And then, unfortunately, you couldn't make it work when there was pressure, right? Yeah. yeah. But now that we have it on film, we can go back and study it and find out why it didn't work. Maybe it's a lack of speed. Maybe it's a lack of power. Maybe it's a lack of timing. Is that a lack of coordination, tactile sensitivity? Maybe it's just like non-touching timing, who knows, right? But once you analyze and find out what's wrong, you can go away and do drills to fix those attributes you lack. Like, isolate the drills, right? Then you can go back and test it again. And then find out more what's wrong and go back, do different drills, and then fix it again. So you're always going back and forth like a cycle. Fix it, test it, fix it, like, test it, right? And by the time you repeat the cycle, like on the third or fifth time, I bet you the techniques you did today will work. Or at least closer to making it work, right? That's a lot different than say if I go, hey, I am awesome, so learn from me. If someone come at you with a knife, do that. And you just take my word for it. You just fall for the marketing and take my word for it and bank your life on it. And as we proved earlier today, that's a very risky thing for you to do, right? So testing is probably a better learning model. And that's, I'm not putting down any style, right? You know what I mean? Every day we're bombarded by advertisement telling us how we should live, who we should be what we should want, what we're supposed to need, what it means to be great, what we should spend our time chasing, 